Hello everybody, my name is Silver Valkyrie and welcome back to Skyrim. Um, so I know uh, I said last episode that, I, that we hadn't uploaded for a while and yeah, that's that's true because between recording the last episode and this one, it's been about a week. Um, and that's just because uh, my mental health has been on a bit of a downward spiral recently. Um, not because of anything YouTube related or Twitch related or anything like that, it's just just stuff happening um, in, uh, you know, my IRL life. Um, what the hell is going on up there? Who is that? Is that Iron Gear or Bori or whatever the fuck? Who's that? Iron Arth. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Oh, jeez. Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Oh, he's going like up in the tower or something, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he was gonna start walking up that way to go see fucking Parthenax. I was gonna say, what the fuck? Um, but anyway, yeah. So I apologize. <laughs> um, so what? So we were gonna go straight to Eastern Grove, I think, is what was on the agenda. Um, just to get like the first kind of arc of the story done because in in my opinion I think the first little arc of the story ends when uh, you uh, when you kill the dragon with Delphine and return the horn I think that is the first little arc of the story done that's like part one of Skyrim um, and then you have to do like the diplomatic immunity and stuff like that so um, yeah, I think we're just gonna just gonna head straight to Morthal. So uh, let's get to White Run first, because I don't know. Uh, okay, it's cultists, 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 cultists. Okay, no one panic, right? Um. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay, quick save. Everybody ready? <laughs> Hello. You're the one they call Dragon Ball. Apparently. Uh the Greybeard seemed to think so. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of You are you're kind of slipping. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, Discord. Um when Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Sure. Whoa. Ah. Die. Oh, I'm on fire. Ooh, I am I am on fire. Okay, well, th thank God I never hit any of the guards. Uh, thank God. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the mess. Healing magic. <gasps> can we wear these? We can. They have no armor. What are we wearing now? Oh, they're better. Cool. We can look cool. Okay, the cult. We can't wear the mask. We can't wear the gloves. But we can, in fact, wear the boots and the robes. Hell yeah. Um, we'll take these. We can sell them or we can put them in our house or whatever. Um, Watch this. Um. And then let's read the cultist orders, shall we? Uh, cultist orders. Here we go. Board the vessel Northern Maiden, Dr. Ravenrock. Take it to Windhelm and begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Sage Silvertree before she reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Well, sucks for you. Uh, what time is it? 
Oh, it's 10 p.m. Do you know what? Let's let's RP this. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect. Me. Well, I'm the Dragonborn, so feck off. Let's let, let's RP this instead of just standing in one spot and waiting. I don't have a spell out. Um, let's go into the Banner Mare and get a run, shall we? We're gonna RP it. Come on in. Let me know if you need yeah, it. we're gonna this we're gonna RP it. Oh, I'm just best. gonna go up and. <gasps> Hi, Oscar. You look great, bestie. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the into a solda. Anyway, what do you need? Uh, I'd like to get a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. I've stayed here more than once. I do not need you to show me where it is. Yeah. So let's sleep for like uh, ten hours. We'll do it properly instead of just standing in the middle of White Run for ten hours. That would look a bit absurd. Imagine just walking around your town and all of a sudden there's just a, a man with two followers stood there, like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Lydia made it in. I mean, Lucian didn't. all our lives. guard beckons dies. I really like the bard songs in Skyrim. They're pretty good. Hey, you are, Lucian. Do you oh, wait friend. outside? Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Yeah. Huh. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hello, yeah. Bellator. Take a look. Let's sell some stuff, shall we? Um, yeah, I don't need this. I don't know why I picked this up. Um, I might give these staffs to Lucian to see if he fancies making use of it. Um, we'll sell one of the masks, but yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put these on like a, an armor stand or something. Um. We can sell these then. Uh, yeah, sell that, sell that. Uh, yeah, yeah, sell that. We don't need, we don't need it really. And then, uh, flawless garnet. I'm gonna keep those. I think you might need flawless garnets for a quest. Sell the rubies though, I don't think we need those. Don't sell that. <laughs> um Well, we're, we're pretty much down already. Uh we might head back home just to put some of this stuff back. Uh we'll keep the poison goat cheese, because why not? Um we can sell okay, uh yeah, we'll sell some of the scrolls. Do you have anything I might like, Bellathor? Um, you have glass. I'm gonna buy the glass. And if you have straw, I'm gonna buy that too. Um, just because... Um... Gla you need glass and straw to make some of the stuff for your house. Um, so... We may, um... You may need it, and sometimes it's best to get it when you can find it because sometimes they just won't sell it Come to chat with the um, when you need it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Wait, is there anything else we need to do in White Run? Okay, well, technically we could bring that up into Danica. However, I want to go and find. Um, I want to go and discover the uh, the Gilda Green like sanctuary first. Um, for reasons that I will explain when we uh, come across doing the quest. We also have a level up. I thought my game crashed then. Uh, okay, let's go health, because I think we need more health. Um, what, how are we doing in alteration? We could get apprentice so we can cast stone flesh, maybe? Or we can start with the illusion spells. Um, 
Quiet casting. Okay. We might as well, you know. So, is everybody with us? Yeah. Sorry if my camera, if my mouse movements are a bit weird. Uh, I've, I had to mess with my DPI a little bit for Overwatch. So now my DPI is a little bit slower than uh, than it usually is. Uh, so I apologize. But okay, let's let's head back to our house for a second to put some stuff back. Um, because I don't need to carry all this with me, really, do I? Lovely. Is there a giant? No, good. I wonder how Raya's getting on. I'm sure she's doing just fine. Having this nice big house to herself. Granted, there's nothing in it, but hey ho. Okay, we're just gonna stick everything in here. Um, uh, not nettle bean. We'll put these staffs in here. Oh, no. I didn't want to put all of the big one out because we need to wear them. Our gloves can go in. One of the robes. Uh, the sneaking ring can go in. Uh, I just want to make... We're gonna just going to put all of our alchemy ingredients in here. Because we don't need all of this on us. Um, also, I think I'm going to start a uh, survival... Uh, <laughs> this is me saying, you know, I didn't like survival mode. But I think I'm going to start a survival mode playthrough on Twitch. Um. Um, because, well, uh, okay, I think that's everything. Okay, that there. See, our carry weight's gone drop way down now, which is great. Um, so yeah, I think I think we're gonna start a survival mode uh, on Twitch. Let me know what you want me to do with that. Do you want me to post it on this channel in parts, um, or would you as like a secondary Skyrim let's play, or would you rather I um. I just uploaded the full VOD to my VOD channel. It's it's your decision. Let me know what uh, what you guys think. Uh. Okay, back at the stables. We're gonna head to Morthal. Oh, I don't have my shoes on. I can hear my feet going against the. Well, look how we look now. Oh my god. Look at that. We look great. What I really want is like a circlet or something so we don't have to wear a hood. You know? Can take you to any of the hold Where do you yes. want to go? I'd like to go to Morthal, please. Oh, uh, well, we're already 15 well, minutes in. We'll no, not Markar. The Where do you want to go? Morthal. We'll there we are. Maybe we won't do some graph today then. <laughs> we're already 15 minutes in. Night. Hiding to the white line from oh Rorik Stag. Um, so yeah, maybe we won't do Eastern Grove today. Um, but next next episode will be um will be Eastern Grove. What's going on here then? Going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough all. The Legion's always looking for strong. <laughs> Look after you this should be Please. good. Don't oh my god. What? I'm getting out of here. Oh, there's a dragon, apparently. Okay. Um Look, a snowflake. Look, another snowflake. Those fools are actually fighting. You're out there. Hello, 
dragon. Is it gonna come down? Hello? Hello? You know, I don't think it's gonna come down. Well, oh my god, who are you? Is this Alva? Oh, you look different, bestie. The dragon's gone, lads. See, I don't know what's going on, but the dragons never seem to stick around. Go cast your feds. Look, I need dragon souls. But I don't have any, do I? No, I have zero dragon souls. Which is really frustrating, actually. Um Everything all right. Hello, Alva. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. <laughs> you got it, baby. <laughs> Ooh. You look great, bestie. Oh. Genuinely. You look great. Okay, well. Let's go and uh, talk to the Jarl, I suppose. She might be asleep. Oh, yeah, she's asleep. Should we, do we wake her up or what? Who's this? Hi, Gorm. Oh, God, your eyes are so closed. Gorm! You will not disrespect oh, there we go. while in this hall. Oh. Do we have an understanding? We certainly do. Then by all means, go about your business. Thank you very much. She must be in here then. Yeah, there she is. Are you like you're like so young that oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Look at them sleeping with their fucking eyes open. You business with the Yarl. I'd ask that you speak to me first. Are you her like little um little piece on the side? As Alsfer. So life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Uh, is there some kind of trouble in Morthal? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident <sighs> wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Okay. I'll mm -hmm. take my leave then. As you were. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Oh, look at the sky. How pretty that is. Jesus, you cannot... I will say it, I've said it once and I'll say it again. You cannot tell me that Skyrim is not an absolutely stunning game for its time. Thormaturgist's hut? Hey, Alva. Well, aren't you the pretty one? Oh. I bet all the men chase after you. Do you want to chase after me, Alva? Because. I'm gonna be honest here, men aren't really my type, Alva. Men aren't really my type. <laughs> so... <clears throat> More side in. Oh, okay. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but... Hello. ...to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Uh, is, is there a story behind that burned down house? Krogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. How did the fire start? Krogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Krogar started it himself. With his own wife and child inside? That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. That's a bit the sus, isn't it? The new love the day after your kin die like that. And of course they can't prove he murdered them. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. <laughs> huh. Okay. Okay. Hmm.
So, let's go and speak to the Jarl then about, uh, about this burned down house. Sorry, uh, oh, sorry, Jarl. Is full of Excuse I me. Speak and others hear. It is my hope that Imagine walking into, listen. like, the mayor of your town's, um, like, place, and you just walk into the bedroom, wake him up, and say, uh, yeah, about that house oh, fire. House fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Hrogar say happened? Krogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alva. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Right. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Okay. Krogar's fate is in your hands. Excuse me, Lucian. Sorry, after you. Thank you. Okay. So... I've done this quest so many times, and it's probably one of my favorite ones, actually. I really, really like this quest. It's interesting. Um, it's pretty easy to tell where, where it's going. Um, but, uh, I really like this quest. Whoa, hello. Who are you? Helgi. My father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Uh, no, I'm a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared. So I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime though. The other one is playing too. She can't come out until then. It smells sour more. The other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear Lucian, me. Lucian, Lucian, so hush for a sec, my dear. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Okay. What's the time now? Okay, well it's four a.m. So it's it's not really after dark now, is it? Ah, excuse me. <laughs> yes, yeah, excuse me. Um, so I think maybe while we're here. Is this Rogar? Have you seen Leolith? Have you seen my wife? Oh, I'd like to buy some lumber some also. Building, eh? We can build. I'll have them hauled over right away. Doing some building, eh? I'll have them hauled Thank over you. Right away. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so while we're here, who's this? Oh, it's just a fisherman, I think. Uh, can we fish here? Oh yeah, there's a little fish thing. We'll we'll go fish here as well. Um. But, uh, while we're here, uh, there's also a little tower, if you can see, on the <laughs> compass over there. Um, that is a player home with the anniversary. What's this? Oh, it's a fishing map. That is a player home. And, um, it's a cool player home. Uh, it's the best player home for a mage, in my opinion. See, if we were on survival mode, there's no way we'd be able to do this. Just hop, hop like, swimming through bloody freezing cold water. Uh, oh god, I'm stuck. Uh, there we are. Um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna get around there to fish, but um, <laughs> I have to go the long way around. There we go. We'll do a little bit of fishing. You know why not? Why not? <clears throat> Might as well see what we can find. Nice fishing in the freezing cold waters of Morthal. So yeah, let me know what you guys uh, want to do. Because I am going to start a survival mode series um, on Twitch. So uh, it's a uh, pogfish. <laughs> nice. Um, 
So it's up to you. If you guys would like me to edit those streams down and put them into parts, uh, if we do that, then I will be able to... Um, um, I'll, I'll be able to like cut out like any notifications and stuff, so that'll be good. Um, or I can just upload the stream straight up to my, uh, VOD channel, which is in the description. It is up to you. Brook about- I'm not finding anything, like, cool. Morthal. Oh, here we go. It's named after the Atmoran hero Morahouse, but it does sound a bit sinister, don't you think? It really does sound sinister. Like, Morthal, I think, sounds the most sinister out of all of them. Then you've got Markarth, that sounds fun. Oh, Markarth. Then you've got Solitude, Winterhold, Dawnstar. Then you've got Windhelm, Riften, Whiterun. Oh, Falkyrie, that all sounds lovely. Then you've got Morthal. But, oh. Morthal does sound like it would have the highest crime rate, in my opinion. Another river betty. Okay, there's still fish because they're still splashing. Whoops. What is that mud crab doing? <laughs> okay, hun. You do you. Oh, a mug. Goody. Okay, well, <clears throat> nice fishing uh, haul. Um, but before we end the episode, uh, not, much, not, much, not much has happened again. Um, but before we end the episode, let's head over there <clears throat> um, to the tower. So, like I said, this is a player home. It's just, oh, wow. Okay, so it's literally just there. You've got Morthal. Mirror Watch. So, this is Mirror Watch. Um, there is, however, if you come here early um, and you're on the higher difficulties, you are going to have a tough time. There is a chorus here. If you don't know what a chorus is, it's like a, a black, uh, it's like a, a black bug that spews, like, poison at you. Um, but the poison is genuinely ridiculous. Um, so we are only level 12. Just gonna stand still and see if we can see it moving at all. Okay, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. See it? It's just there. It's my pointer. Okay, we're gonna have to aggro it. Its poison works very fast. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let them deal with it. Okay. Especially if you come here without a follower tank most of the time. Like, do you see how low Lucian's health is? This thing will absolutely wreck you. Uh, it will absolutely destroy you on the hard difficulties if you do not have a follower with you. Um, oh. Wait, who are we shooting at now? Oh, it's just a spider. It's just a, it's a spider, lads. Okay. Whee! We. All right. I think we're. I think we're good. Okay. So yeah, this is Mirror Watch. Uh, it's very easy to unlock. It's a totally free player home too, which is great. Um. So let's look at Sindar's tower notes. 
Deep in the swamps of Hialmarch, where the branches are gnarled and the mist is thick, lies a tower of unknown provenance. Few in the province dare to speak the name Mirwatch, and those that do couch their words with apprehension and fear. Yet the, yet the mystery of the tower only piques my interest further, and so I have made it my life's work to discover its secrets. What I can deduce of its past comes from its present, from the cut of stone to the wards that surround it. Every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to a pen and hand. The stone seal that guards the entrance is none other than the Eye of Magnus, a symbol born from the legacy of Shalador. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Mirrorwatch, but outside the College of Winterhold. Could it be the mages here were cast out from the college and set out to carve their own path? This is but a theory, and yet one I feel has merit. Nevertheless, without access to the mind of its occupant, occupants, true insight will remain frustratingly out of grasp. <clears throat> okay. Hello, that is one mysterious looking tower. I wonder if anyone's home. I do wonder if anyone's home. Uh, okay, so he does have a journal on him. Let's, uh, let's read that. Um, when the eyes doused in flames, the hair will light the way. I've heard that fool Sidnar say over and over, breathe stinking, breath stinking of ale as if it were a limerick. Given his dark hood, you might think it was a dangerous spell. But so long as no one's hair caught on fire or found imps in their cupboards, the words were harmless. Just the mad ramblings of a drunk. For the inn patrons, only I bothered to humour him. We bonded over a bottle of hunting brew in the bucket with which we had history. So when the elf bit the dust, it was only natural he left his things to me. Among them were countless pieces of junk, including full ownership of the bucket and a spell tome written in some long dead language. But as soon as I started cursing the old fool for willing me his trash, out slipped two items of value, a map and notes to a tower deep in the swamps. It was only, it was only after reading it that I realised his drunken words weren't part of any limerick. They were instructions, a way in. Now that I'm here, things are getting even more clear. The hair part still doesn't make a lick of sense, but the eye is the stone seal. That I'm sure of, yet nothing I do seems to work. I've doused it in the fire from my torch, and I've chopped kindling for hours and built a bonfire high enough to scorch the bloody moon. Still, nothing. Maybe the seal could only be broken with magic. Well, if that drunken fool can learn to cast spells, so can I. I've got the bastard's tome, I just need to make sense of the words. But I better be quick. The fire seems to be attracting all sorts of creatures from the belly of this unholy marsh. Hopefully I can manage to survive long enough to discover whatever treasure lies within. You can keep your journal, Hans. <laughs> so, he said that this is... Let's get this spider out of the way. I, is this spider really that heavy? Oh god, I rolled... <laughs> that wasn't what I intended to do. I thought I had uh, unrelenting force. Let's wait for it to. When the eye is doused in flames, the hair oh, will go. light the way. The... Hmm. Hair. Not my hair, I hope. It's taken years <gasps> to grow these luscious locks. Ah, here we go. We can just do this to move it. There we are. Get out of the way. Okay, so. Yes, don't worry, Lucian. It's not about your hair. So, what you do is you grab some flames. You light it on fire. Activate the seal. And then a little bunny, i.e. your hair, because that's another name oh, for a bunny. Hair, not hair. As in bunny. Yes, Magical Lucian. Ghost, bunny lights the way. Magical oh, ghost arson bunny. Oh, and there we go. The door unlocks by mysterious forces, and we can just go in, and this is now our new home. I think I'll move all the alchemy stuff over here and the enchanting stuff over here at some point. Um, but look at this. Fully furnished, too. Fully furnished. What's this? Anora's journal. Oh. Uh, first of Morningstar, a wise mage told me the power of a spell lies in one's conviction. It's evident to me now that the college has lost all desire and purpose and has become feckless under its current stewardship. The Archmage Shalador believes the, whole, the halls to be a proving ground where a mage could test the limits of their abilities. Now the college is a tomb of knowledge where grand spells and lofty ideals are left to wither and rot. 
We should not let the inside, the outside of the outside world, dictate how we conduct ourselves. Placating their ignorance is not a virtue. The anger, the augurs, speak of a great war on the horizon, and we should be doing everything in our power to prepare for it. This is why Tija, Tilja, and I have chosen to leave. We know the road ahead will be hard, but one thing we do not lack is the conviction to see it through. Construction of the tower is almost complete. Tilja accused me of being impatient, a crime which I've been guilty of more than not. Between us, he has always been the tortoise and I the hare. Still, our needs are pressing. The coming war will not wait for the mortar to dry. The location has much to do with the delays, but that can't be helped. The Nords are distrustful of magic by nature, and some would frown upon our efforts. Others might take a more violent approach. For that reason, we've put a ward on the door that requires magic to dispel. We've chosen to honour Shalador in much of what we do, including the seal outside the door. Tilja seemed pleased with the idea of setting it on fire, while others seemed uncomfortable with the idea. I warned them that pride is the enemy of progress. If we are to survive in the coming storm, we must not be bound by tradition. We must be willing to set it aflame. It's been a year since construction is finished, yet there's still much that needs to be done. The tower is only the foundation for our defence. Our minds and our magic must serve as its ramparts, and for them to hold, we must amplify our strength. As such, I have sent scouts throughout Tamriel to find powerful artifacts that may help us in our efforts. Artifacts the college wizards refuse to obtain out of cowardice or comfort. Many of these relics played a role in preventing calamities of the past. Perhaps it is their destiny as much as ours to stand between the world and its ruin. We've had a little luck finding our artifacts of note based on the information I've called from the Arcanium records. I know there are several here in Skyrim, including the Staff of Golder. We must endeavour to find them all. More concerning, however, is the disposition and morale of the mages. Even Tilja seems to have fallen into trappings of routine and idleness. It is hard to convince weary souls to explore yet another ruin when the task has been stripped of all urgency. It's now halfway through the year 433, more than ten years since we left the college, yet all remained blissfully calm. One of the new acolytes even suggested abandoning her training to become a cook, happily showing me her spell for preserving apple pies. I reminded her that she is here to study battle magic, not pastries. She will have more than enough time to indulge her sweet tooth when her youth is behind her. It is why I have devoted half the library to the placement of powerful artifacts to serve as a reminder of our pursuit. Yet seeing the racks as they are now, collecting only dust, makes me wonder if I've had if I've led us all astray. As leader of this guild, I have the training to fight and the knowledge of what's to come. What I don't have, sadly, is the conviction that it will. The courier came by with news from Cyrodiil. Emperor Septim is dead. The gates of oblivion have opened. Divines help us all. Okay. That's cool. So this is Mirror Watch. Um, you have like a little homey place in here. Lots of storage. Oh this place is amazing. Truly a home fit for a powerful mage. I approve. Thanks, Lucian. You've got children's beds, although the kids do not like to come here. Uh, I have found that it's a little bit broken. Kids don't come here. Um, there's some money, though, that we'll take. Uh, they, they do not come here. Uh, they get stuck, and they don't come here. So. I wonder who it was that built this place. Maybe if we rummage around a bit, we might be able to find a clue or two about its history. Or I've done that, Lucian. But, uh, yeah, so Mirror Watch. And then you also have this little um, this little doorway, which leads to the gallery. Which, as you can see, you get a ton of free soul gems. You get uh, a ton of free potions and alchemy ingredients. Um, you get staffs and uh, these things to enchant staffs. I really don't know how these staff enchanting works. There's mannequins, and then there's weapon plaques, and there's spots for specific things you can find in the world. Like, um, for example, here, all of the masks you can put up here. There's uh, the Blade of Woe, Nettlebane, Keening, Maiden's Razor. This place really is remarkably well equipped. Um, so we will definitely be using this, but she'll risk more Spellbreaker. Got the Ethereal Shield, not that we'll be getting the Ethereal Shield. But yeah, there's there's so many different like display racks for things. Harkon sword, you know, you got a ton ton of stuff. The paragons, the shield, a bunch of stuff that you can place down, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, I I 
I don't know if we will. Well, though we are pure maids, so this should probably be our our main home, right? It should be our main our main base of operations, and then uh, our our Falkreath house can be where our family live. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is this is New Roch. Uh, it's just, it's a really really cool house, and it's free uh, as long as you can deal with the chorus outside. Um, which if you have don't look at me like that. It was just a suggestion. If you have a follower with you, they should be able to tank most of it. Um, and if you really want the house but you don't want the issue, just turn the difficulty down to novice till you've dealt with the chorus. Um, <laughs> and then you'll be grand. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, do you mind? What you, this episode's been a little bit boring, I will say. We haven't really done much. Um, but next episode, we will be going to Ustin Grav. Um, we will probably... Actually, no, we'll probably finish the later rest quest. Then we'll go to Ustin Grav. And then we will uh, carry on with the main story for a little bit and see where uh, the rest of the game leads us. But um, I do definitely want to head to the College of Winterhold soon and start that off because we are a pure mage. And what is a pure mage without a week-long education in magic to become the Archmage? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss any more Skyrim. Let me know what you think on the Skyrim streams, whether they're in parts or just full stream uploads. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, friends.